What up, guys? Jumping here, and today we're going to be continuing the Mass Effect Let's Play the Trilogy bullcrap, which might turn into Let's Play Mass Effect 1, because I really don't know how much time I'm going to have on my hands here soon, but I will definitely try to finish the entire trilogy over time, but it just might take me a while, because Mass Effect 1 is fucking long! Ah! Especially with all these three-part planets that I'm doing, because this is part three of Novaria, and in the last part, we did some bullshit, and now we're going to go finish up that bullshit. Um, pretty much, we, are, we have done everything that we can do here, and the only thing left is to finally confront Matriarch Benezia, so that is where we are going, and that is what is Alright, so we run over here. We just got, in the last video, we got access to maintenance, which is what's over here. And now this will lead us directly to Benazia, which this fight, honestly, is probably one of the more challenging fights in the whole game, to be quite frank. Just because Benazia is a bitch. Like, uh, she really is. And you gotta fight a lot of Asaris, and I always felt that Asaris in this game were probably one of the toughest enemies to fight against. Um, I think Krogans and Asaris, to me, are, like, the two that stand out the most, um, uh, for just being somewhat challenging. Just because they have, um, biotics, and they can, like, throw you and all that crap. Really just throw. Throw is the biggest problem. Krogans can run up and melee you, where, and they can throw you, where you'll constantly be thrown by the freaking Asaris, and if they knock you down, you, you can just get shot. Alright, so let's go ahead and check out our equipment. I know I got some better stuff by now. That's actually a pretty decent assault rifle. Let's see if we have a good one here, too. Oh, we got two of them, so that's what's up. And let's see if we got some decent armor. This is a better armor for Garrus. It looks probably cooler. This gotta look cooler. Come on. Oh, yeah, I always like that Krogan armor. Let's see, we got some for the human. Nope. And that just sucks, because for some reason that's what always happens. There might be a better pistol, too. Ooh, this is a good pistol. All right. Um, that is what always happens, and it's just, like, bullshit, honestly. Ooh. It really is. Um, what is this? Yeah, I like, I like that. That's actually pretty good. But, yeah, the, for some reason, every time I play this game, I, I can never freaking find decent light armor right away. Well, not light armor, but decent human armor. I always got to be stuck with the Scorpion 1. If you can remember where we got this, we got this on Eden Prime. It's like, for real? I think it's, you know, all the items are really random in this game, so that's something you got to remember. All right, let's go and level up a little bit, too. Um, let's see. Does this, uh, this does give you a little bit more... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go for that, then. Oh, there's medium armor. I just forgot about that. Let me... I might actually have some decent medium armor. I don't really know. Where's Shepard? All right, let's look through the human armors. There we go. That one's actually... This one is not that good, and it's pink, which I always hated. God, that looks so stupid. I mean, I don't... Why didn't they just make it red and white? Why didn't they have to make it pink? Ugh. All right. So if we run over here, we're going to make a front hit. You know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. We don't have to fight. You can return to the Citadel with us. I think not. Alright, so right here, she's going to put Shepard into some type of stasis field. Which is pretty stupid, only because once the fight actually starts, we're not in the stasis field. So, <laughs> well, but... Now we can pretty much start this fight, which, like I said, it's a bitch because of that right there! Yay! Freaking hell, man. Look! And she threw me a gun! Rage! 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 You know what? 
You know what? I can throw back, though. Bitch. Um, yeah, but that's what will happen consistently in this. Oh, my God. Die. Die. Oh, my God. She's about to kill me. This is crazy. This is madness. Wow, I actually killed her, too. But, yeah, I mean, that's just the, that's just the thing, man. It is a bitch. All right. Oh, my God. Who's shooting me? That's shooting me through the freaking wall. Go ahead and put some barrier on. And now we can go and wreck some enemies. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be careful in this fight a little bit. Try to play a little bit smarter than what I'm doing by rushing. Um, definitely use cover a little bit. And just try to avoid, for the most part, getting shot. And we have to go through this process of... Benedic uh, not, oh, I know, that was a total fail, guys. Damn. I just actually bit my tongue. That's what happened. Ah! But... That's a good singularity right there. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, we can throw too, which probably won't really. I'm like, oh, it's going to be an explosion. But it's not. All right. But here's the thing, guys. Um, we're going to have to let Benezzi run out of juice. I don't know why in the world does. Um, I have no idea why her using her power like that actually like does anything. But apparently it does. Why am I crouching? All right. Going to use lift. Lift your ass up. And we know we can shoot everything to death. Oh my god, what hit me? Oh my god, what hit me? Stop shooting me with snipers! If you shoot me with another sniper, I'm gonna fucking freak. Die! Why are they not getting hit? Die, die, die! Alright, they're dead. Alright, so right here, we finally get an auto save. And that's good, because now. This is we'll not over. Have that. Saren is so, unstoppable. Let me shut up. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. 
Knowing the relay's location isn't enough. We need to know where to go from there. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are up my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Die. Fucking bitch. All right, now for this part, run like hell. <laughs> I mean, really, run <laughs> like hell, because she will wreck you instantly if you don't. Um, and then from this position, I recommend trying to kill all the little smaller enemies first. And then taking care of her because uh, if you don't, yeah, you gonna have a problem. All right, so let's freaking run across the map and try to find any more enemies. I think that's it though for other enemies. Now we just deal with her, so we have to find her and take her out. But like I said, it's a it's a bitch for sure because if she, I think she can stasis you, which is like the worst. Let's go and warp you. And then we'll just shoot you, and you'll die quick. Ah, right, there we go. Epic camera angle, too. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> that was a perfect set of titties. Down the drain. God damn it! Well, she's dead. But if we walk over here, what the feck is this? Uh, kill it! Kill it! Ah! This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the... Mother, we sing for those left behind, the children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. Makes sense. A baby left alone in a closet until he's 16 won't be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable. 
but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. If you kill her, you consign an entire race to death. We should let the Citadel Council decide her fate. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I... Do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. <laughs> we would oh, sorry, seek guys. a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards, so maybe you don't get it. You're right. She dies. No. I won't commit genocide. It's not right, even for bugs. Are we any better if we kill them all? Do what you want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Solarians. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Great. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this. Alrighty, so we just saved the Rachni Queen, and that's going to give you a lot of good points for doing that. Slash, uh, if you do it the bad way, we'll give you a lot of bad points. Why the hell are these getting harder to do? But, alright, so that's all done. No, you never mentioned that before, Garrus. God damn it. Alright, but now we can go ahead and, um, we can't leave yet because we still have some shit to take care of. Mainly, what we need to do is finish off the rest of the Rachni. Um, if you remember, actually I think you can leave now, but the Rachni Queen told us that her children are these particular Rachni that are left here are fucking like crazy, so we need to take care of that. Alright, so if we go down this elevator then we can find where we need to be. Alright. Alright, so we come in here. There's going to be like one lone dude down here just chilling. Kind of strange, too. I always wondered, like, what the hell? Like, why, why are you just chilling down here by yourself, bro? Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? 
Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni, it is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira destruct. Oh shit! What the? Uh, looks so fake. Alrighty, so now we got this Rachni in front of us. Just kill it. Die! Alright, so now it's dead. I believe he's gonna drop a data pad. Where's your dead body? Here we go. Just got the code for the purge, and I'm like a little lost right here. Uh, no. Where do I go? Okay, this must be the door. And now we can pretty much uh, blow all these goddamn things up. Or something like that. Don't really know. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. This is always funny. Uh, sick semper ter. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. <laughs> like, like, okay, please report so you can be arrested. Yeah, thanks. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Alrighty, so, whatever you do, you don't want to die here. You have plenty of time. Just strap on some marksmen, back the hell up, and start blowing these things away. So there, You don't want to get none of that stupid um, spit all over you. Cause that will definitely get you wrecked in a freaking heartbeat. Die! Like, watch out for the little exploding ones. They will fuck you up super quick. So just keep that in mind. And just keep shooting. Die, fool. Ah, I've overheated. Now watch out for those. You don't want to die here. Cause then we're gonna have to fight Benezia again, which is stupid. I need marksman back right away. Alright. So kill as many of these things as you can. And just move the hell out of here. Alright, so let's just run for it. Run, 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 run! Now we can be all proper and get the hell out. <clears throat> Alright. And by going up here, we're gonna pretty much get to the top. And once we get to the top, we're going to hear a big BOOM! And I don't know if it was that an explosion that killed them all or what. I, I It's a neural purge, so I thought maybe that's some type of, like, electrical charge. I don't really know. But now we can pretty much leave. So that is what is up. And what's great, and thank God for this, is when you get on this thing over here, it's actually just going to take us to Normandy. It's, we don't have to, like, walk out of here. 
That's the best part, because I would have fucking flipped out if I ever had to walk back or drive back and all that crap. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. So thank God they decided, you know what, guys? We really need to cut this part out. Alrighty, so right here we're going to be talking to our peoples, like always. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Let's just stick to business. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Three? No. Four. This is no joke, Commander. The Rachni were one of the greatest threats the galaxy ever faced. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Alrighty, so that is done. Woo! So that is Novaria, guys. It was definitely a long, challenging mission, but it is over. And now, next up is going to be Vermeer, which is definitely one of the most interesting places. So I hope you will stay tuned for that, because that will be in the next part. But this will be the end of this part. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video. It can really, really help me out. And like always, guys, have a nice love.